Hey everyone, it's Nancy, and I want to share a couple of projects that I made using goodies from Carla's Etsy store. And this is a um, design team swap, and I was given Cynthia Luhu um, for my partner and the person that I was to create for. And I made her several items, and in this video I'm going to show two things that I made, and then there'll be another video showing another item because I know there will want to be more detail and explanation as to how I made it. So, I'm going to share this frame first, and this is one of the dollar Michael frames, just the wooden frame. And what I did was I painted the frame white and then I attached this piece of vellum to it that has a script on it. And I really like how the vellum bubbled because it gave me the opportunity to accent it with some pink and I used spun sugar distress ink to accent that and to um, distress it a little bit. And then around all the edges I used black soot so it's pink and black. And then in the center of the frame, I used the same vellum paper, but I just backed it on a piece of baby pink cardstock, so it shows through pink a little bit. So down here on the bottom, what I used was the box pleated trim, and I put a row here, and then another row here, and then on top of that, I used this pink um, box pleated trim, and it has the, like, the tool on each side. And then in the center, I used some of the Cynthia Luhu Bling Mesh. I just cut the piece of it. And for on this side, I used the Butterfly Kisses, the Crystal Flowers, two of the regular one layer ones, the big ones, and then one of the more dimensional one, the 3D one. And then tucked in there, I used some of the Baby Pink Little Tiny Butterfly Kisses Flowers. And then this is one of the sprays, the bling sprays. Love this one, I've been totally hoarding this. So really love the way the frame came out. And then the other item that I'm gonna share is this, um, not so many, many. Um, this is a Meyer Road chipboard album. It's called a binder book. Hopefully you can see it there. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Very exciting that they're carrying my road stuff now. So I used for this album, I used the Teresa Collins collection, The Timeless. And on the cover, this paper is not from Timeless. This is from um, Loose Paper at Hobby Lobby. And I covered the binder of the book with that. And then on the outside, I used some of one of the Bona, the Bona shabby trim under here. And then this is the black jade trim. And then these new gorgeous blings that Carla has in her store. I absolutely love, love these. And I used them all up. You'll see in another project. So for the binding, for the hinge, I just created, um, just using these little clasps. And each page, they're all chipboard pages. The inside, this isn't from Timeless. This is loose from Hobby Lobby as well. But I created with the collection, the paper collection, pockets. Um, so this side has pockets and I just put the leftover acetate sheet in here and then a couple of tags. And then, so, and then this page is just plain. It's the white with the pink polka dots. And then a pocket page with some photo mats, blank page, pocket page, blank page, pocket page. I love this one. I used the acetate sheet, you can see it really good here, on the velvet sheet and it's a really cool effect and just a couple of photo mats in there. This, I don't think this one's from the collection. This might be loose from Hobby Lobby because I, I got some that matched the collection so another pocket page and then here it switches to pocket page being on the other side photo mat blank page pocket page this is acetate page that's um, just on black cardstock 
and it's open at the top and kind of hard to see it is open at the top so she could stick pictures or you know whatever she wants down in there and then another pocket page another blank page and a pocket page and then these are the die cuts from the collection pack so um Cynthia's having a granddaughter and I didn't want to too much you know dictate that this had to be a baby girl mini and I know she likes pink and black so she can use this for whatever she wants it to be for she wants to use it for grandbaby pictures that's fine but it's definitely she can use it for either so those are these two projects and I have another video coming up and so thanks everybody for watching see you in a little bit